What was it like growing up in Chicago as a kid, and why did you pick basketball over other sports? Growing up in Chicago, well, I loved growing up in Chicago. Yeah, it was it was great. Um, I hooped, so I was able to see both sides of Chicago. Um, most people in Chicago would stay in that one area where they grew up, and I would, because I played basketball, I was able to go to different parks. Um, move around freely without like having fights or uh, that's one because I, I show respect and um, I show love so I was able to move around and uh, when you grow up there you have to watch everything so um, you're, you're mind, mindful of your surroundings, you're alert but that made me who I am uh, as a man today and with basketball being added on it allowed me to, to see a lot of things at an early age that inspired me when I was younger. So um, I feel like Chicago was just misunderstood, but I'm not going to be um, biased in a way. So we've been watching The Last Dance. What's your take or perspective on MJ? So my perspective on, I mean, for one, I, I love the, the documentary. It just showed how how determined and how he was a student of the game. And I mean, he was chasing greatness. So it just showed that he dedicated his whole life to his craft. So um, it was great to see. How did MJ impact you growing up in Chicago? Oh man. Growing up in Shaw, I had a chance to uh, go over MJ crib when I was younger, when I was like in high school. But like I said, in Chicago, basketball is a culture, so it, it, it holds weight. So um, I got invited to his house when I was a sophomore from, um, by Jeffrey and Marcus. And um, I remember when they, they, they asked me, I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? So the day before, I'm, I'm nervous. I go to sleep like at nine. I wake up that morning, um, they, they pick me up. We had out there, and I just remember getting to the gate. The, you see the 23 on the gate. The gate open, and where we drive in, and you see like this impeccable like landscape. And you keep driving through the um, driveway, and we saw like a, a, a speed sign that blew me away. Like wow, you got a speed sign and his in his driveway. <laughs> So we get to the house and um, it's like a palace, it's like a complex, and you see like five or six vehicles out there. So um, we get out the car and I remember the main entrance was to our left. We were going like to the right. So when we got out the car, we passed um, by the, the, the six vehicles that we saw when we were pulling in. They were um, six Bentleys, GTs, like, had six families out there we um, blew me away. Um, we get to the, the entrance and um, the whole time I'm thinking like, man, I'm not gonna see MJ. He's gonna be somewhere else in the house. He's just gonna let us like, you know what I mean? Play in the gym and all that. We entered the, the, the door there. We entered the door. It was where the gym was. They were in that hooping. Like um, that whole time I watched them every second while I was there. Like watch them the entire time. Watch them be a dad, watch them, watch them take out garbage. <laughs> like things I never thought I'd be able to see, but um, I got that opportunity. So um, I remember that um, them taking me back home and I'm in my room and I got the TV off and I'm looking at the paint on my wall because like a couple of months prior to that, I tried to paint my room with blue paint and the job, the, the paint job was terrible. So I'm looking at the paint like, man, like, what am I doing here? And I remember like having that jinx feeling that I had like prior, like to me actually um, meeting Mike when I was younger, I used to always feel like I was gonna get jinxed because I was winning a lot. So ninth grade, after I met them, after I went to that crib, it went away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that lifestyle 
my mom's gonna live decent. Whatever I gotta do, I, I gotta do it. And uh, I, I promised myself that night that I was gonna be on the mission. And me seeing that, um, with MJ giving me that opportunity, it made me, um, he, no, he didn't, it didn't make me, he let me manifest my dreams from what I saw. So I appreciate that, MJ.